So back then at the Bangkok Stadium and the first look for us then at a couple of incredible fighting brothers who also happen to be identical twins. And uh, here's Kalsai Galaxy then defending the WBA version of the Super Flyweight Championship. It's only 8-3 and he looks like a sawn off Rocky Marciano there with only one defeat in 35. He came into the game a bit late as a Thai kickboxer. At, uh, it's now 28. Here's the challenger, Chung. Also with a good record, as you can see there, Orient Pacific super flyweight champion. And the referee, Japanese, Ken Morita, originally from America, comes out of San Francisco. Scheduled then for 15, but the punching power of the Thai really is something to be seen. Sometimes a slow starter, but when he gets into action, you can see, just incredible. He must have hollow legs. I don't know how he makes that weight. A rumor in Thailand that, uh, well, maybe one brother makes the weight and the other one steps in and does the fighting as a ringer because they, they really are lookalikes. And as the son of an identical twin, I know the feeling. Jim, if I said these were lightweights, would you believe me? Instead of eight stone three super flies, the new division. Yeah, I think I would believe welterweight. It's amazing the 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 body that they both have the shoulders and uh, even the legs. You expect them to have thin legs if they're, if they're making the kind of weight and uh, having a body like that. But I think what they have, they have a tremendous knack for getting, getting rid of body fluid. They can drag their weight down. I don't think they're eight stone three as we look at it now. Well, the southpaw in the white trunks then Galaxy looks as though he could be a bantamweight champion eight stone six he looks as though he could be more than comfortable at that weight and could probably get a lot more fights too because there's a spate of bantamweights around the world as i said he he has a bit of a look round, a bit of a scouting report at the start seen a lot of korean uh, amateurs and they all come to fight they all give you a bit of a go and they did well in the olympic games despite not winning medals because the American team was so exceptional I thought the Korean team were outstanding as well they're surprisingly disciplined the Thailanders uh, especially these twins and we've seen such at the how effective he is as fly you wonder where they get this style from they're not wild fighters are they yeah well, well I feel uh, being that they've come from the, a lot of them come from the kickboxing game I always feel that you need good balance uh, to be a successful kickboxer and I think when they, when they take up the Western boxing they take this good balance into the ring with them. And you can see Galaxy now, he's always perfectly set on his feet. He's showing a little feint here and there, he hasn't taken any chances yet. He's just trying to find ways to open up the challenger. But he's thinking all the time, good technique. He won the championship which was then vacant against uh, Espinal of the Dominican Republic. And this is his sixth defence of this championship. Mind you, there's so many at the small weights now with the various ruling bodies and the new weights introduced that, well, one of Britain's greats, Jimmy Wilde, would have probably won a dozen championships if he'd have been around today. I don't blame Mr Chung for being just a little bit hesitant. I think he's heard about Galaxy's punching power, 31 stoppages on 34 wins so the judges become a little bit superfluous when he's around the usual almost fanatical atmosphere in Bangkok at least they've got a huge size ring there for them, the gym to get around haven't they it's, it's not a tiny thing for these little fellas yeah, but, but I think in the first round there, they, they both did a bit more thinking than punching. Especially the champion here, you can actually see him trying to work out ways to draw the lead from Chung and get, get him with some counter punches. But he certainly looks very powerful, we haven't seen the power come to play yet, but he certainly looks powerful. Coming out for the second then. A lot of rubbing going down there, I wouldn't have thought he'd done enough exercise to, to need the massage in the corner there, the Thai champion. There you are, enthusiastic seconds, I suppose, get caught up with the atmosphere. And just like the, the look of the Korean Chung, actually, well, I do there, <laughs> well off balance. 
And if he does that too often, I think Galaxy will just tag him very nicely, thank you, with a counter shot. What a good style he's got, Galaxy, though. He's an action southpaw. Galaxy just getting a bit more ambitious now Jim don't you think he's just stalking more than he did in this. he looks to be a good pressure fighter he's always right in front of Chung he's uh, never giving him uh, much of a, of a mental rest uh, a little bit ponderous at the moment he hasn't really got started but we can see him trying to get that little few inches closer now uh, trying to get the punches home and he's got bicep bigger than flyweight's necks I've seen in Britain hasn't he this fellow It's amazing really, there's a certain myth that some heavyweights for their weight gym are not that great of punchers, but some of these fellas that fly and night fly and super fly and have not, they punch hard for their weight, don't they? Yeah, and I 